Hello everybody, Dr. Brian Desvonic here. In this video, I would like to bring to your attention the B vitamin, biotin, also known as vitamin B7, could interfere with some lab results giving false high or false low results. I'll show you what dose of biotin causes lab interference, what tests could be affected, and what you can do to prevent misdiagnosis. Enjoy. Most experts agree that people above the age of 10 should be getting between 10 and 100 micrograms of biotin per day, and you could easily attain this through your diet. For example, one cooked egg contains about 10 micrograms of biotin, and a half a cup of cooked sweet potatoes contains about 2.4 micrograms. Some dietary supplements, especially those marketed for hair growth, contain massive amounts of biotin. Just to give you some perspective, the popular dietary supplement Extra Strength Hair, Skin, and Nails by Nature's Bounty contains 5,000 micrograms per serving, which is a lot. In one study, the lowest dose of biotin which caused lab interference was 10,000 micrograms. It's not uncommon for people to take several different dietary supplements which contain biotin, so it's really up to you as an informed consumer to read all the labels of all your supplements and add up all the amount of biotin in each one so that you know how much you're getting per day. If you find that you are taking more than 10,000 micrograms of biotin per day, then you may want to consider lowering your dose. If your doctor has prescribed this to you, then be aware that this could interfere with lab results. Due to the life-threatening implications of a misdiagnosis, the lab tests were biotin interference are the most important are N-terminal pro-brain naturetic peptide and troponin. Both of these tests are used to indicate heart damage and in both cases, biotin could cause a falsely low test result. Here's a made up scenario just to illustrate my point. A 65 year old woman take several different dietary supplements, all which contain biotin, and collectively they add up to 40,000 micrograms of biotin, which she is taking every single day. Well, one day she starts to have some chest pain, so she goes to the emergency room, and the emergency doctors order the test troponin, which is a common test because it's a really great test to show if you have an acute heart attack. Well, they get the test results back, and they're normal. So the patient just gets a diagnosis of heartburn. She gets sent home with some heartburn medications and a few hours later, she ends up dying of a heart attack. Biotin interferes with thyroid tests. If you're taking too high a dose of biotin and you have your thyroid checked, it may show that you have hyperthyroid or too much thyroid. So a typical lab test would show low TSH, high free T3, high free T4, and even it would show that you have elevated thyroid antibodies if your doctor checks those as well, which would give you a misdiagnosis of hyperthyroid or Graves' disease. And this is a problem, especially if you're given a medication for that disease or even surgery to remove your thyroid. Not all lab tests have been studied for biotin interference, but for the tests who use the same technology as the tests I just mentioned, biotin could potentially interfere with those labs. As an informed consumer, there's a couple things that you could do to protect yourself. Number one, review all of your dietary supplements, add up all the biotin you're taking in one day, and make sure you're not taking more than 10,000 micrograms per day. Number two, if you have been prescribed by a doctor, a high dose of biotin, make sure that all your doctors know this so that when they run lab tests, they know that there's a potential to be interference, especially if you find yourself having chest pain and end up in the ER. I hope you found this information helpful. If you liked the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you don't miss out on future videos like this one. I thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.